uh, Anusa Elsa John, uh, many congratulations for your wonderful selection in the Material Science and Engineering PhD program in the US. Can you hear me? Thank you, sir. Yes. So can you ah, tell yes, us, sir, I can hear. Can you tell us uh, where did you get selected? And what's the scholarship? I got selected. I got selected in Connecticut University of Connecticut. Okay. Uh, for the material science program. And tell, tell us about your scholarship and stipend and all that. Okay, so I received a PhD position with a graduate assistantship and a stipend of thirty thousand US dollars per year, approximately thirty thousand per year. Very nice. Many congratulations to you, and we're gonna have this short discussion. So why don't you tell okay. us about yourself? From where do you come? Education and um, any experience and all that. Okay, sir. Uh, myself, Anusha. I've uh, completed my graduation and post-graduation. And, and uh, where is your hometown? Yeah. My hometown is in uh, Pandalam uh, in Kerala. Kerala. Place okay. in Kerala. Uh, so I did my graduation and post-graduation from MG University. Okay. So after that, I was uh, looking for uh, my uh, PhD or uh, doing PhD abroad and all. But however, I was uh, not successful. So okay. finally, I came to know about uh, uh, you, uh, Dr. Parmar, okay. and I contacted you. Okay. Uh, so that is how it all started. Yes. So, yes. so our, our mentorship efforts is online. I mean, this is the first uh, time yes. I'm seeing you. So how did you and why did you trust us? Uh, so uh, at first I was uh, really afraid because <laughs> nowadays there are a lot of scam and all uh, online scams are there. But then mm -hmm. when I went through your YouTube channel and all, I came to understand that uh, you're genuine. And uh, I came to know about a number of students. Yes. You have already uh, select, uh, helped for uh, the uh, studying abroad and all. So I decided to trust you. <laughs> So did you contact any of the students basically from Kerala? I remember last year we have uh, so many students got selected from Kerala. Yes, uh, so I uh, actually I contacted uh, Anishwara. Anishwara, <laughs> okay. Yes. I think many students from Kerala, they connected with uh, uh, Anishwara. <laughs> uh. And this, this year also, I think uh, I've seen this. So uh. basically what is your research interest? in University of Connecticut Material Science Program. Uh, so I was looking for a research area in energy materials, and that is how I decided to apply for, specifically for the material science program, because mm -hmm. they had more research uh, uh, was going on in that university for mm -hmm. uh, energy materials. So I decided to see. Yes, your, your physics, uh, your major in physics, master's yeah, yeah. and yes. BSc also. All right. Yes. And, and, uh, yes, I'm pretty happy with this program. Material science is a very interdisciplinary program and gives. Ah, so that is another reason because I could uh, uh, improve my uh, connection and all. I could interact with more people. <laughs> it's an interdisciplinary research area. So. Yeah, what do you want to do after completion of PhD? Uh, so, <laughs> well, uh, either I'll be looking for a postdoc position or maybe. Uh, direct job or anything mm -hmm. and also material science program is a shorter program as compared to physics maybe you can finish your PhD uh -huh. within four, year, four years i have seen a number of my friends uh, or you can say i mean co-friends kind of completion uh -huh. PhD is like uh, around four years not more than that <laughs> uh -huh. yes so in this application process what examination did you take and what was your score Okay, uh, sir. So I actually started in September, and I wrote uh, IELTS. That is uh, the ex. Okay. Uh, and I I prepared by myself, okay. and I also had few of my friends who wrote IELTS. So they also shared their materials with me. I mm. uh, that is how I wrote IELTS. But then after that, you gave me the list of universities. Mm -hmm. uh, then. Apply ten to twelve. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Like shortlisting universities, a scientific CV, a scientific statement of purpose, some time of um, the question answering session, and LOR—they all play important. Ah, yes. Yeah, everything. Uh, 
you helped. Uh, so at first itself, you gave the questionnaire. I filled mm -hmm. it. Then after that, uh, after getting the IELTS result, you shortlisted the university. Yes. yes. Then I uh, applied to uh, the universities. You gave the SOP and academic CV was mm -hmm. prepared yeah. from your side. Very true. And in the, while you get selected University of Connecticut, oh. which is a very good institution, oh. uh, did you have any kind of uh, interview for this? Uh, uh, sir, one interview was there from one professor. Okay. Uh, so uh, she was uh, uh, just to get to know better. That's uh, that was all the purpose of interview. It was not, you, not an in-depth. Do you interview. remember what kind of questions were there? <laughs> oh, okay. The, that was um, based on my master's project only, like right. uh, the characterization techniques and all performed. Then some basics of uh, material science. That was all. That is it. Okay. Yeah. So, so mainly it was a discussion of that project. Discussion. So it's not kind of, that, yes, I guess it's kind no, of a discussion a, based on your essay. No, it was not a traditional interview. It was not yes. a traditional interview, it's just a discussion. Yes, discussion. Very nice. Do you remember when did you get this offer a letter? Uh, by the end of April. By the end of April, okay. <laughs> And how did you yeah. feel? I mean, I remember that a lot of rejections kept coming. I, actually, I got a lot of rejection. I mean, yeah. I got a rejection from all other universities and yeah. finally I got admitted and I was happy. It was like early morning when I woke up and I just checked the uh, mail. I got the software mm -hmm. letter. It was very, so fast. With this process. Uh -huh. Yes. Now you are still waiting for your I-20, right? Once ah, you yes, receive yes. I-20, then we're going to help you with a visa processing, which is a couple of steps involved and very smooth uh, transitions. Are you looking for uh, housing and all that? Did you connect with any students up there? Uh, no, sir. No. Okay. I so, mean, I didn't get any contact. Connect. So, uh, uh, Anusha, we have another student uh, uh, in physics. He also, She also got selected for this year. Maybe uh, both of you can. Uh, and she's also from Kerala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> maybe I, will, I should connect both of you. So maybe um, oh. can, can... Yeah, that will be really nice because uh -huh. my parents will also be happy. Yeah, that will gonna help you. So a yeah. couple, couple of more questions. Uh, expenses. How much expense did it occur? Uh, starting from joining us for mentorship fee, other expenses, IELTS, and then your application fee till you get selected. Okay, so your mentorship fees was around one lakh plus uh, eighteen thousand GST. Yes. Then the IELTS uh, fees was around uh, seventeen thousand Indian rupees. Uh, then the next expense was uh, application fees. So it was uh, like seven thousand, eight thousand per college. So mm -hmm. I applied to eleven uh, universities. So it was like nearly seventy thousand. So total it will be like two point three lakhs yes. around. Two plus lakh. And two lakh. Yeah, two lakh plus. Yes. It's progress. Uh, uh, another question, I mean, coming from like uh, uh, being a female and uh, uh, realizing your dream to become a scientist, do you, have you faced any kind of di uh, difficulty till now in terms of any social? barrier or something like that uh, yes sir. yes uh, so i live in a community with a lot of old people people who are uh, really uh, so much stick on to traditional aspects so for them uh, i mean it's it will be really hard for them to uh, you know accept the fact that i am oh. going to study further oh. and uh, do research and also how did you uh, convince them my, my, my Actually, my uh, my parents are the only people who have supported me till now. The others are still. I mean, it's hard to convince them, but I'll find a way. Okay, okay. but you did try. So, I mean, I didn't uh, inform them. Like I told them, I'll be going abroad, but so still. Any message that you want to give and, and share to a number of aspirants? Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, like, at first, as I've already said, I didn't have anyone to, like, tell me what 
to do to study abroad and all so if you are a student like me looking forward to pursue your higher studies abroad uh, so i would definitely recommend dr parmar and let's do gre team mm -hmm. to you all so they will be really helping you in your path to achieving your dreams i can assure you that well thank you so much and and yeah, thank and, and take care okay and uh, just just all friends with you we'll connect on call okay and we'll discuss about uh, uh, did, did you send them an email about inquiring about i sir i inquired with them but they said uh, uh, it will take about 7 to 10 days to update that in the uh, application portal okay 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 all right I, but i don't i still don't know whether if uh, my transcript has reached there because when i uh, checked in the postal uh, mm -hmm. status they only have the status still that is uh, the uh, documents dispatched from kochin that's all the status i got so how many, how many days it's been sir i sent on april 30 oh but he must have reached by now but i didn't get any information sir so i am really uh, how did you send now. it so, sir by post by uh, uh, post i sent by post which post uh, by registered post they told me registered will be uh, more better like speed post or, or a courier or something like that courier which registered courier registered courier post what is the name sir, uh, sir indian postal service Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, didn't they give you some scan barcode uh, you can locate yes sir i checked with that uh, barcode i checked but uh, the status uh, till it's dispatched from kochi is only given yeah. on may 1st it has been sent by air but uh, apart from that i didn't get any details so mm -hmm. yesterday I went to the post office and checked personally mm -hmm. then also they said we don't know what the status yeah, will, so sir, should i know. Yeah, so now you sir, should I send apply again? I mean, sir, should no, I send no. electronic transcript or anything? Did you send an email to graduate school? Yes, sir. I inquired with them yesterday also. I uh, emailed the admission officer. So uh, they said, like, uh, it, it, uh, uh, it will be updated in website only in seven to ten days. So they don't know if they have received it or not. I don't know if mm -hmm. I contacted the right section, but that is what uh, the message I got. Let me, I will look into the email. And we have another student, she is in mathematics department last year, Connecticut. I will text her if she can do something. Sometimes face to face inquiry might be helpful. Okay. So uh, I will try. I'm not sure. So should I, I uh, apply to my university for? Uh, should I apply to my university again for sending electronic transcript or anything? <laughs> Is it possible uh, if you university can send through email? I have to. I'll have to do the payment again. Like How much? apply for that again and do the payment. I just for one transcript it is like two thousand five hundred. Then for sending there is some other fees. It's not much. So in total there. It's okay. Five thousand. Oh. Yeah, okay, I think it's okay. just give it a shot. Oh, okay. okay. And good thing is that this year there is no problem of visa appointment. Most of the students, they are getting uh, almost all of them. Oh. Okay. So Sir, I wanted to know something. Sure. Like, uh, after uh, they receive our transcript, they will issue the I-20 okay. form. So, should I make another request? Because in the email, I got a request for I-21 link was there. Mm -hmm. So, is it possible to apply before they get the transcript? or? It is possible. Just possible. Okay. Can, so can I you, should make the request. Can you send me that screenshot or also email? Let me look into it. Ah, oh, okay, sir. Okay. And I think I, proper okay. communication is needed. I know you, you, you've been oh. busy with various things. I think just stay in touch more often. I mean, this process should be smooth now. Okay. I understand oh, you're, okay. you know, you've been through various things, but some section needs your some. Uh, 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 what should I say? So Some please time. don't put that all in YouTube. Yeah, we will not. Don't worry. <laughs> just don't don't worry about it. No, I just said because I was. I'm sorry. 
don't worry first i will send it to you the video when you okay. will say sir this is okay then only i will do that okay okay sir we'll talk about now on the phone all right okay okay thank you thank you sir bye